I decided to do one more on uh, charging the split system air conditioner just by using your hand to sense superheat. Uh, of course, these are uh, fixed orifice machines, so they're critically charged. Uh, this one is a couple of pounds low on refrigerant, as I've done before. You can see you're 55 pounds, 45 or 41 and a half superheat, and uh, not showing any subcool at all. Uh, let's take a look at temperature. Okay, the temperature is 75. Uh, I'll give you a split too. Split 13.5. The point of this one. Uh, I want to do one at a lower ambient. That's the return air and it's also the uh, outside air temperature. We will try doing the same thing I've done before, just simply using my hand yeah, to, by using my hand, uh, to sense when the charge is right. Again, I'm not going to be using any of the temperatures. The gauge set will be covered. The scale will not be on. Uh, I'll just be using my hand to determine when the charge is right. We'll see how close I get. Okay, the gauge set is covered. Uh, again, I'm going to be charging with gas through the low side. And it'll probably take 10, 15 minutes somewhere in there and then we'll let it balance out we'll see how close I came. I'm going to be placing my hand right here and just holding it on there and charging the unit. So I will be beginning the charge now. I'm not going to have the camera on while I'm doing it. It's just kind of boring. Okay, now I'm going to take the covers off turn everything back on. We'll see how close we came. This one's a little harder to do because of the low ambient. This type of thing is not real easy to do with low ambient, but we'll see how I come out. One of the things I wanted to note when I do these, when I get the unit figured out, when I get where I think it should be, then I uh, wait another five minutes or so and check it again just to be sure it has settled down. Okay, we're looking at 15.2 on the superheat and subcool 10.9, kind of normal for this thing. Let's see what our temperature split is. We're at 76 degrees return air and we're at 18. Uh, supply. That's with about 450 cubic foot per minute per ton. It's a two ton unit. I'll get a target superheat and we'll see how close that came. Okay, we have a uh, target superheat now of 12.8. Our uh, superheats went up a little bit showing 15.9 right now so we're still a little bit off let's see how much refrigerant it takes to get that two target superheat okay note I have put one ounce of refrigerant into the system and we will see where the superheat settles out at after giving uh, another 10 minutes or so for this to settle I've added one ounce of refrigerant and we're down to about 12 and a half on the uh, superheat uh, target is 12.8 and subcools around 11.4 which seems to be kind of normal for this thing it does vary sometimes but it's pretty much normal okay this was just an exercise in doing, using your hand to charge these things. 
at lower ambient. It's actually a little harder to do at low ambient. Uh, if the ambient is below 70, I don't even attempt it. Uh, but I started out here at about 75, I think it's about 77 right now. And it's fairly viable. You know, my suction pressure is about right. Uh, and I was about an ounce off. This is fairly common for me to be about that far off, uh, if I'm lucky. Anyway, uh, that's the last one I'm going to do on checking uh, superheat on a fixed orifice device machine, critically charged, just using your hand to check the superheat.